Forget about all that circle of life bullshit you see in Disney films. Death sucks. And suicide sucks even more. I can't pretend I like One More Light, but Heavy is easily the standout track, demonstrating that Chester Bennington could have been a pop star in a different life. Breaking the Habit, the first of three tracks from their second and best album, Meteora. Ironically, a much better pop song than the softer stuff they tried later. Burn It Down, proof that Electronic was a better forum for Linkin Park than mainstream pop. A definite head nodder. Just when it seemed like Linkin Park had left rock behind, they released the excellent The Hunting Party album. Lead single, Guilty All The Same, is perhaps the definition of a return to form. Hints of punk, old school metal, a cameo from Rakim, and a killer chorus. None. Linkin Park nailing the quiet loud, quiet loud formula. Balancing pop melodies with power. I got sick of it at the time, but in hindsight, in the end, more than any other track, shows just why Linkin Park were always destined to be much more than just another new metal band. Sometimes bands get big for a reason. I doubt most recaps of Linkin Park's catalogue will include With You, but they should. Imagine the context of playing Hybrid Theory for the first time. You get the third track, the great new metal riff, Dust Brothers beats, and they give way to Mike Shinoda rapping. Then, suddenly, you really hear, for the first time, just how powerful Chester Bennington's voice really was. Perhaps I should hate what I've done for helping to make the god-awful Transformers film so successful, but it's hard to hate a song this good. Easily the best part of the entire Michael Bay Transformers franchise, putting real emotion into a series that is pretty much dead inside otherwise. The second single from Meteora, Faint, is a perfect example of how to expand the scope of a band. It takes the new metal template they nailed on Hybrid Theory, adds in string samples, break beats, and makes something familiar yet fresh. Well, obviously. This song is about as 2000 as it gets. If you were a teenager then, I bet you can picture Chester Bennington standing upside down in the video. Can't you? Yes. New metal may be one of the most derided genres of all time, but this song shows exactly why it became so popular. If you suffer from depression, anxiety, PTSD, or any other mental illness, please speak to someone or get some help. We all deserve it.